Violin making is a wonderful art. It's an exquisitely combination of physics, mathematics, geometry, chemistry, history, and the fine and crafting skills. Today is a real science, but the techniques have remained almost unchanged over the course of 300 years. Like many other violin makers, I follow the classic Cremonese method, a technique handed down to this day from master to student. This knowledge is passed from generation to generation and still fortunately has not been replaced by modern industry. Actually, to create an excellent violin, you must to respect dynamic parameters that vary according to the properties of the wood that it's been crafted. It is a fine interweaving of factors that allow such a small instrument to compete with modern amplified instruments. It is an absolute miracle of engineering. It is a very complex job but full of satisfaction. Imagine the wonder of transforming a raw object like a piece of wood into a stylistic masterpiece with a personality. Imagine the emotion of testing and hearing the voice of the instrument I have just created. It is a great satisfaction to see a piece of wood come to life and express together its musician their souls, because there is also a bit of mine inside. Incredibly, nowadays, we still use the same materials as the violin makers of the past. There are exceptional woods, both for their beauty and for their acoustic performance. And while I'm working on it, listening to the sound of the gauge or the plane, I already know how that violin will sound. Wood speaks to you in your hands as you work on it. There is absolutely no comparison between a violin made by a single manufacturer and one made with factory serial work. However similar they may appear, superficially, in reality there is an enormous difference. The instrument can reach its highest standard only if you take care of it in every single detail, in every single step of the process of its creation. <laughs>